Hi guys, welcome to another iOS development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the MapKit framework. And this is actually going to be one of many tutorials I intend to do pretty quickly here about MapKit, about using maps in your applications, um, putting annotations on them and things like that. So in this first tutorial of the series, this is a complete beginner sort of tutorial. Uh, we're going to take a look at how you can uh, place a map within one of your view controllers, um, how you can display the user location, and all of that good stuff. We're actually going to do it two ways. In this first tutorial, we're going to use the interface builder method, and so it's going to be pretty quick, uh, pretty simple. So if you're already familiar with map kits, this is probably a tutorial you want to skip. Um, I also wanted to point out the version of Xcode that I'm currently using. It's version 4.3.2. I think there's already been an update uh, to this version. Uh, but I've got this one running, so as long as you've got this or something better, you should be okay. Right, so let's get started. So I've got uh, my Xcode window open, of course. Um, I'm under iOS app. I've got the application option selected, and I've got all the different iOS templates available. I'm going to select a single view application and hit next. It's going to ask me the name of my project, and I'm just going to type in something like simple map kit. Seems fairly easy we'll set the device family to iPhone and we will uncheck uh, use storyboards we will leave use automatic reference counting or ARC checked because it'll make it easier for us as developers and I'll leave include unit tests unchecked as well I'm gonna hit next and it's gonna ask me where I want to save this I'm just gonna save it on my desktop and hit create and of course that's gonna mean that Xcode's gonna do a little bit of indexing here in a second um, and once that's done, we can actually begin working with this project. Right. So if you're not seeing this exact same sort of view, it's because you currently do not have um, within sort of the project navigator window the name of the project selected. So if you've got if you're in one of these folders or if you've got one of these selected, view of view might be a little bit different. But where we want to start is actually we do want to select this um, project name because it gives us a couple different options here in the central window. The one that we want is called Build Phases. We want to select that. And the reason we want to go here first is because to be able to use maps in your application, you have to import the MapKit framework. You'll notice that there's a couple different frameworks that are automatically imported depending on the type of template you're using. And so the MapKit framework is actually not one of them. So the way we get to that again is select the name of your project, go over to the Build Phases tab, expand this accordion that says Link Binary with Libraries, and then click on the plus symbol here. This will give us a list of frameworks that we want to add. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll just say map kit, and there it is. We'll go ahead and hit add, and that adds the map kit framework. And of course, you might notice that it'll drop it sort of within your project folder. This is fine. Some people are a little bit more picky, and they like all the frameworks to sort of appear in the same folder. So they'll drop it in this frameworks folder here. And now we've got all the stuff we need. Great. Okay, so now what we want to do is go to our nib file, and we are going to want to make sure that we've got our objects library or the attributes inspector open. So if you don't have this open, you've got one of the other ones, you want to go over to the one here on the right-hand side. And if you don't see this column, remember, this can also be hidden. So just select the button here, and then move over to the attributes inspector. And then at the bottom, we want this little box-like icon, which is the objects library. So let's pull this up a little bit. So the objects library, of course, con contains a list of objects that we can drag and drop onto our view. And the one we're looking for is called an MK uh, map view. So we'll just type in map, and that should pretty much resolve what we need. And then we'll just drag that and drop it here. Great. Now with this selected, what we actually can do is we can take a look at the attributes inspector, which is up top. And you'll notice that by default, it switches to a type of map. But if you look at it here, you've also got a couple different other types, satellite, hybrid, which is sort of a combination of the two. And then you've also got uh, some behaviors that you can turn on and off. Um, you can allow zooming and scrolling. You can show the user location. So what we're going to do here is actually check all three. And let's go ahead and hit Command-R to run our application and see what happens. So give it a couple seconds to compile and run the application. pull the simulator onto the screen and of course we get a map 
and we get the user location. Now, if you're probably thinking, you know, why is this showing my location as being in California? Well, that's because by default on the simulator, when you just use the map view object, it defaults its location to Apple's headquarters, which is in California. So that's essentially why you're seeing this here. Now you can actually zoom in on uh, the simulator as well. Well, if you want to try that, just use the option key, keep that pressed and you'll get two dots. And then, you know, you can essentially pull them apart to get sort of zoom in um, or pull them together to sort of zoom out. So that's a little tip if you're ever working in the simulator with a map view. That's how you get the zoom in, zoom out functionality. Now you can of course programmatically zoom in and that is something that we will look at in a tutorial here shortly. But this is sort of the basics of what we've got going. So let's hit stop real quick. And let's go back to our nib file and we'll select the map view again. And you'll notice that I can of course change this to uh, satellite and let's run it again by hitting command R and we'll see this time we got this sort of a satellite view if we hit the option key and try and zoom in you'll notice that we can continue to do so and we get this nifty looking satellite view okay so this is all well and cool but like I said it's a pretty simplistic introduction to how you use map views. And the one takeaway here is the fact that we have to include this particular framework, framework, which is the MapKit framework. In our next tutorial, we're actually gonna do the exact same exercise, except we are going to uh, create the uh, map view object uh, using code as opposed to you know dragging something in Interface Builder. So We'll join you in the other tutorial, but I hope this was a quick and easy introduction for anybody that's looking to get started with using maps in their application. Thanks for watching.